Hey everyone, welcome back to Tells and Whistles, where we dive deep into life's most profound topics. Today, we're tackling one of the most intriguing and mysterious questions humanity has ever pondered. Where do we go after death? This question has fascinated philosophers, scientists, and spiritual leaders for centuries. While there are many theories and beliefs, the answer often depends on one's cultural, religious, and philosophical perspectives. So, let's explore some of these perspectives together. Religious Perspectives First, let's look at some of the world's major religions and their views on what happens after we die. In Christianity, many believe in heaven and held the idea that after death, souls are judged and sent to a place of eternal reward or punishment based on their actions in life. In Hinduism and Buddhism, the concept of reincarnation prevails. According to these beliefs, our souls are reborn into new bodies, and this cycle continues until we achieve enlightenment or liberation. Islam teaches that after death, souls enter an intermediate state and await the Day of Judgment, where they will be resurrected and judged by God. Philosophical Perspectives Now, let's turn to philosophy. Many philosophers have tackled the question of what happens after we die. Plato, the ancient Greek philosopher, believed in the immortality of the soul, suggesting that it pre-exists before birth and continues to exist after death. Existentialists like Jean Paul Sartre, on the other hand, argue that death is the end of our existence. They believe that once we die, our consciousness ceases and we simply no longer exist. Then there are modern philosophers who explore ideas like the potential for consciousness to continue in some form, whether through collective memory, legacy, or even theoretical concepts like digital immortality. Scientific Perspectives Science also provides its own insights, though they often focus on the physical aspects of death. From a biological standpoint, death is the cessation of all biological functions that sustain life. But what about consciousness? Some neuroscientists argue that consciousness is a product of brain activity, and when the brain dies, so does our consciousness. However, there are intriguing studies on near-death experiences and reports of people who've been clinically dead and then revived, describing vivid experiences that suggest there might be more to explore. Personal Reflections Ultimately, where we go after death remains one of the greatest mysteries. Each belief system and philosophical perspective offers its own lens through which to view this profound question. Maybe the real question isn't just about what happens after we die, but how we choose to live knowing that our time here is finite. Perhaps it's about finding meaning, connection, and purpose in our lives. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you believe happens after we die? Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next video. Thanks for watching, and remember to stay curious.